this month's edition of Mom to Mom Nutrition, uh, we took it on the road because if we're talking about poolside eats, we gotta be by a pool. That's right, and whether you're going in the pool or you're taking a dip in the lake, we wanna make sure we're not just hydrated on the outside, but on the inside as well. So Katie, tell us where do we start? All right, let's start down here. Mm -hmm. But you had me at pool and lake. Because <laughs> in Michigan, that's where I'm at. I'm either at the pool or in the lake and with my kids and we're eating. So yes. here we go. Okay. <laughs> down right here, here, yeah. So I love these easy lunch boxes, mm -hmm. you know, plastic storage containers that we usually use for produce in our fridge or mm -hmm. the kids take for their lunches during the school week. Um, but they can be used for the pool, the beach, mm -hmm. pack stuff up, put it in your cooler. What I love about these individual containers is you can get all your food groups. Yes. Okay. So fruits, veggies, whole grains, protein, you can mix and match based on your family's pre preference. And again, package it up and you're on the road. Now if we're wanting to have more of like kind of uh, a pool party or something yeah. where we can have a little bit more time on our hands to prepare the food for our guests and ourselves, um, it looks like you have some other stuff too, sandwiches yep. for us and the kiddos. Yes, so these are one of my favorite deli roast beef sandwiches. And actually I use the same roast beef for our simple right. okay. set up over there too. So you can go simple with mm -hmm. it, but um, this is an open-faced horseradish deli meat sandwich. Again, just a simple horsey spread with the deli meat, some veggies, mm -hmm. really light, fresh, because you know, when right now, you don't feel like something really heavy, right? Yes. You want something right. lighter. And I think that's why a lot of us forget to eat when we're out at the pool. Mm -hmm. We're just so focused on the heat, our hydration, but we have to remember other nutrients as well. Mm -hmm. So right. this is a great one for adults. Basically took the same ingredients, rolled it in a tortilla <laughs> okay. for the kids. So didn't add any red onion or cucumber, but similar setup. There's the cheesy horseradish spread, mm -hmm. spinach, and then your um, deli roast beef. When I'm thinking of summertime in Michigan, whether that's at the beach or the pool, mm -hmm. um, kebabs come to mind. Last oh time we talked goodness. about burgers, today yes. it's the beef kebab. So yes the easiest thing to make. Mm -hmm. And you can mix and match the vegetables based on your family's preference. I just used what I had on hand and thought would be colorful for this dish. Mm -hmm. The key is the cut of beef to use. Okay. okay. So here for this classic beef kebab recipe, I used sirloin tip steak. Mm. Have you ever heard of a sirloin No, can tip? I tell you, it wasn't until the last time you came, I started really paying attention to what meat it is that I was buying and the type of cut. Mm -hmm. That's great to hear because yes. it really does impact your eating experience mm -hmm. and your bottom line, the budget, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So um, those two things I always keep top of mind. So um, with this recipe, the sirloin tip is a very lean cut of beef. So it typically needs to be marinated a little bit. So and it, and it comes rather large. So if you were to throw it on the grill and just cut it like a normal steak, mm -hmm. you wouldn't have the best eating experience. Mm -hmm. But if you cut it into smaller cubes, marinate it a little, and then throw it on the grill, you would never know um, you weren't eating a filet. And on that stick theme, we have to have some dessert on a stick too. A little too. sweets aren't bad. Yeah. Well, so this no explanation. No. Or absolutely. description needed here, no. right? Dessert on a stick. And mm -hmm. these were just not homemade rice krispies, right. not homemade brownies, okay. all store bought. Have your kids help thread them through. Mm -hmm. Drizzle with a little chocolate sauce, and there yeah. you go. Which and you would never know that they weren't homemade. No. They look pretty well to no. me. No. And it's uh, that other element of convenience, too, because the kids yes. can grab it on the stick, and it's all right there. I mean, obviously, you could have a plate, but you really don't need it. You got the napkin. It's just boom, bada bang, right there. Yeah. Oh, we love this. Well, I, I have it. to. The pinwheel is calling my name. Uh, and the snake is calling I'm mine. Gonna have so to nibble on this, but Katie, once again, you've outdone yourself. Yes, you and have. so people Appreciate need you guys. Yes. Thank and you. you have all this written down so well on your website yes. that people can follow not only for these delicious things, but also more. What website is that again? MomToMomNutrition.com. Yes. And if you want today to get the exact recipe for this beef kebab, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. go to beefitswhat'sfordinner.com and just search kebabs. Love It'll be the first recipe there. there. Yeah, well, I think Perfect. it's time to go in the pool. I don't know about I you, I think so. You have your swimsuit? Uh, yeah, right. always. Well, let's go. All right, cheers, <laughs> cheers, cheers. Have a great summer. Yes. <laughs>